us to the eighth episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2020 internal science paper one which is a physics so the first episode looked at section a and the last six episodes have looked at section b of this paper so if you haven't seen these episodes please check out on our youtube channel so question b7 leads figure b 7.1 is a diagram showing a 240 volts main supply connected to a television set and two lamps the power supply to each lamp and television is 40 watts 120 watts respectively when the switches are closed question a calculate the total power supplied so how do we find the total power supplied so what is important in this case is to note that power is additive in any configuration that is to say it doesn't matter whether it's a parallel or circuit power you add them to find the total power so to find the total power in this case we are going to say total power is equal to power at television set plus power lamp 1 then power consumed by lamp 2 so television set is 120 watts then plus first lamp which is 40 watts then second lamp which is 40 watts so when you add these two you are going to get 200 watts so 200 watts is the total power supplied okay when the switches are closed so when you close this switch and this the total power that will be supplied will be equal to the summation of these that's what is going to happen once you do that you get these two marks question e, Roman numeral 2 of m the total number of kilowatts hours of energy supplied to the circuit in 3 hours and that's again 2 max so we are calculating so how do we find the total number of kilowatts hours of energy supplied in a given circuit so the total number of kilowatt hours of energy is equal to NH is a function of power times time. Now this should be in kilowatt hours. That's what is important. Should be in kilowatt hours. So what we need to do is we need to convert the NH supplied that we found here. We convert it from watts to kilowatts then we multiply by the time then we're going to find the kilowatts hours so we know that in one kilowatt we have 1000 watts so how many kilowatts are in 200 watts that's what we need to do so we need to convert this to that so once we convert to kilowatts then this will be straightforward for us to deal with so we cross multiply so it will be 200 is equal to so what you notice is 200 watts we multiply it by 1 kilowatt then is equal to x multiply by 1000 watts so we're going to have 1000 watts x but since we are looking for x so we're going to divide by 1000 watts then we divide by 1000 watts so this one and that one goes so going to minus this side with x then again what you notice is this and this one goes then that one that one then that one that one then two times one kilowatt divided by 10 we're going to end up with 0 0.2 kilowatt as the equivalent of 200 watts is equal to 0 0.2 kilowatt now if you know this in kilowatts to convert this to kilowatt hours which is in the energy supplied in three hours we just multiplied by this power in kilowatts which is 0 0.2 kilowatts then multiply by time in hours which is three hours then we're going to end up with 0 0.6 kilowatt hours as 
the energy supplied to the circuit in three hours time so once you do this you will get the two max then loma numero three calculate the potential difference across the television set so looking for the potential difference so how can you find the potential difference so the potential difference can be found using the power formula so we know that power is given by voltage times current we know what the total voltage is so for us to find the potential difference across the tv set which is the one which is passing through this one we need to know the current that is passing through that once we know the current that is passing through that then we can easily divide this power by the current then in that way we are going to find the voltage which is passing through that tv set so what we need to do is let us find the current for the entire circuit so how can we find the current for the entire circuit so to find the current for the entire circuit it will be power divided by voltage is equal to current so just divide by voltage both side so we know what total power is so what is the total power the total power in the circuit we just calculated it it was 200 watts and the voltage is 240 so we have 200 divided by 240 so that and that then we have 4 into 20 is equal to 5 4 into 24 is a 6 so we have this one as in the current so now after we know the current we can find the potential difference so how can you find the, the potential difference so potential difference now in this case will be voltage is equal to power divided by current so now what's the power across the tv set or the television set the power is 120 which is this one so this is 120 so we come here and say 120 divided by now the current which is 5 over 6 so now from here what you do is we simplify so we are going to have 120 multiply by 6 over 5 once this one changes from divide division to multiplication then what we are going to discover is we are going to say 5 into 12 is see 2 remainder 2 5 into into 20 is see 4 so we are going to have 24 times 6 is going to give us 144 so 144 volts is the potential difference so the potential difference here is 144 volts that's the potential difference so these are the key steps that you need to take for you to get these six marks easily so thank you for joining me in this episode please join me in the next episode as i look at question b8